So students often tell me it's hard to even know where to start with stochastic calculus. And honestly, I struggled too. So here's the exact roadmap I wish I had. So I'm going to walk you through each topic, tell you what it is, the key subtopics you should care about, prerequisites so you don't waste time, and most importantly, where it helps you or the applications of each topic. And you can download this clean structured list with topic, what it is, the subtopics, the prerequisites as a downloadable PDF. And each topic is linked, it might be linked to one another. I'm also starting a series simplifying some of these topics which we find daunting. So beginning with foundational concepts. It is the grammar of the whole subject. So how to talk about dynamics, measures and sensitivities. And some of these subtopics are the ordinary differential equations, partial differential equations and stochastic differential equations. So when I started, I didn't even know what these abbreviations are, ODE, PDE, SDE, and how they are very different. Then uh, your other subtopics in this one are price versus value function, real world measure P versus risk neutral measure Q, some numeraire and Greeks. And pre some prerequisites, which I recommend uh, having under undergrad level courses like single and multivariable calculus for this uh, linear algebra will be useful. Probability basics will be very helpful and uh, just enough Python to plot and simulate. And how it helps is it everything plugs into this. So P versus Q separates forecasting from pricing, numeraire choice shows up in rates and Greeks are your daily PNL. Uh, language and options and in derivatives. Now we know process filtration and martingales. What it is? Brownian motion as the canonical noise, filtrations as what the market knows so far, martingales as fair game processes. And some of the subtopics are quadratic variation is an important subtopic in this um, in this broad topic, covariance of correlated Brownian drivers, what adapted to filtration means, and some of the prerequisites will be useful are probability, normal distribution, conditional expectation. And how it will help is you cannot set up an SDE, that is stochastic differential equation or a risk neutral argument unless you understand how information and randomness flows through time. Then ETO calculus, integral and ETO is lemma and local time. So what it is, is the rules of differentiation and integration uh, when the driver is Brownian not smooth time. So the subtopics are 1D and multi-D, Ito's lemma, product rule, Tanaka's formula, local time at a kink. And prerequisite is the first topic, which you had seen. How it helps is you'll drive option dynamics, relate processes to PDEs, and compute Greeks and PNL decompositions correctly. Then is SDE theory and canonical diffusions. So what it is, is dx equals drift times dt plus diffusion times dw, which is your workhorse modeling equation. And the subtopics are the existence or uniqueness, then strong versus weak solutions, and classic models like geometric brown in motion, uh, OU or Vasicek, CIR, CEV, and local wall models. And some of the prerequisites are the first and second topics which you had seen. So how it helps is this is how you model prices, rates, volatility surfaces, picking and validating the right diffusion. This is just half the job. Next topic is measure change, numerators, and risk neutral pricing. And what it is is moving from real world to risk neutral. So discounted prices become martingales. Pick a numerator to simplify pricing. And subtopics are the random derivative, Gerson-Norm's theorem, forward measures, and some of these other subtopics. Prerequisites are all the first three topics which you have seen. And it helps because it's the backbone of derivatives pricing from equities to rates. So once you see discounting under the right measure, many mysteries disappear. Then is generators, feynman cac and Kolmogorov linked to PDEs. So it is a bridge from SDE expectations to pricing PDEs and density evolution. So some of the subtopics are infinitesimal generator L, backward forward Kolmogorov equations, boundary conditions, and a preview of HJV model. And the prerequisites are the topics two to four. It helps, um, it helps because it lets you choose between PDE and Monte Carlo intelligently. 
and read a pricing PDE as an expectation and vice versa. Then is Greeks replication and hedging. So what it is, is sensitivities plus the idea that you can replicate a payoff with dynamic trading. And some of the subtopics are del Delta, Gamma, Theta, Vega, Rho. These are the Greeks of derivatives. Self-financing strategies, pathwise versus likelihood ratio Greeks, where hedging error comes from, all of these. And uh, the prerequisites are topics two, four, and five. And it helps because it turns math into PNL explanations. It lets you communicate with risk and stress test strategies before the strategies blow up, if they will. Then is jumps and Levi models. And it is adding discontinuities to capture gaps and heavy tails. So some of the subtopics are poison and compound poison processes, Levi Eto decomposition, Merton Bates jump dis diffusion, and some of these other families. And please note that all the abbreviations used in this deck are in the last slide. So prerequisites are the topics two to four. It helps with better tail control for equity and credit, more realistic barrier behavior, and more faithful smile. Then is stochastic volatility, local volatility, and hybrids. So it is volatility as its own random processes or a function of state and time or both. And subtopics are Heston, SCBR, stochastic local vol coupling, and when to use which. And topics three, four, five, and basic numerics from topic 14 are helpful. And how it helps is it uh, helps with accurate smiles and skews and robust pricing across strikes and maturities. It is crucial for calibration driven desks. And is rough volatility. So you can go deep into it or uh, study the surface level of it. That's totally uh, depending on the job profile you're looking for. It is the fractional style volatility dynamics that fit short maturity smiles very well. And the subtopics are Volterra SDEs, Rough Burgomi, Implications for Hedging Stability. And prerequisites are topic 8 and some fractional calculus awareness. And it helps with cutting edge equity wall research and better short dated behavior when standard models in underfit. The next topic you should know is optimal stopping American options and reflections. So that is the math of exercise now or wait and how to value early exercise futures. So some of the subtopics here are Snell envelope, continuation versus stopping regions, least squares Monte Carlo, obstacle penalty PDEs, smooth fit ideas, and prerequisites are five, six, and 14. And it helps with practical American pricing, uh, the American option pricing, extracting and understanding exercise boundaries, and communicating early exercise risk. Then is stochastic control, HGB, BSDEs, and FBSDEs. So that is nothing but optimizing actions inside the stochastic differential equations and solving value problems, though uh, they can be forward and backward. And this includes HGB with verification, BSDEs and FBSDEs, G expectations, and some of the prerequisites are topics five and six. So it helps with portfolio consumption problems, optimal execution, XVA formulations that rely on BSDE machinery. Then is an important topic of term structure, including short rate HGM, HJM, and LMM. And these are all the models for the term structure. So this is modeling the entire yield curve consistently. And subtopics include Bassichek, CIR, Hull White, um, exponential affine bonds, HJM drift condition, LMM model or BGM model. These are forward rate models. Um, SABR, LMM smiles. And prerequisites include three and five. And it helps with pricing, caps, floors, swaptions, as done in sell side. Uh, managing curve risk and linking wall smiles to rate dynamics. There's filtering and latent state inference. So it is estimating hidden processes like true short rate or stochastic variance from noisy observations. And some subtopics are the Kalman filters, big picture links to Kushner, Stratonovich, and prerequisites uh, are topic three plus some time series inference. It helps clean your signals for trading and risk, enables model calibration when the state is not directly observed. 
And all of these topics also, it's not just restricted to stochastic calculus. You'll also learn about different models. Like in the previous topic, we learned about interest rate models. Then topic 14 is numerics and engines, SDE, PD, Monte Carlo, Fourier. And this is your computational toolbox to make models run at scale. So some of the subtopics are Brownian, Euler, variance reduction, PDE schemes, like for Heston model, and then uh, Fourier or COS via uh, characteristic functions. And these uh, and prerequisites for this um, are these topics two, three, and five. It helps with choosing the right engine for the product and balancing accuracy versus speed and building some trustworthy ben benchmarks. Then it's calibration, identifiability, and model risk. So this is turning models into deployable systems and knowing when a great fit is fragile. This includes P versus Q calibration split, regularization and parameter bounds, multi-start search, constraints, out of sample, hedge PNL attribution, and some prerequisites are topics 6, 8, 12, and 14. It helps with robust fits, cleaner diagnostics, and defensible sign-off with risk and governance. The last topic is risk exposures in XVA. So this is measuring exposures over time and applying credit and funding adjustments. So this is more uh, related to credit risk. So you see how stochastic calculus is used in almost everything. It, it is a part of almost every model within quant finance. And these subtopics include EE, EPE, PFE profiles, CVA, DVA, FVA, KVA, MVA frameworks, wrong way risk, and then XVA. And prerequisites include topics 4, 6, 7, 12, and 14. So this helps bridge uh, pricing with regulation and capital. It explains why fair value is not the end of the story, and it ties models to balance sheet realities. So how to use this roadmap? Start with topic 0 to get the language. Build your Brownian and Eto toolkit in topics 1 and 2. Learn to specify and solve PD, uh, sorry STEs in topic 3. Move to risk neutral pricing in topic four, then connect to PDEs with topic five, then pair that theory with numerics in topic 14. Once this foundation is in place, then you can flow into Greeks and hedging and jumps, wall models, American features, control rates, filtering, calibration, and XPA. And that order keeps the cognitive load sane, so you will not get overwhelmed. And it also mirrors how problems actually show up. So you can find this PDF in the description below. And let me know if you have any questions.